I know that the Temple Mount is like a very special place for you. And uh, if I'm correct, you like to go up there every once in a while, yeah. which is not, I mean, if you look at the typical propaganda that displays Israeli settlers storming the Temple Mount, you do not fit that description <laughs> at all. I mean, you're a Hiluni from Kfar Saba. Yeah. So, you know, what does that mean to you? Because it seems like more and more Israelis want to be able to go up there peacefully. Absolutely, and they should. They should be freedom of religion, definitely in Jerusalem. I mean, the Temple Mount is the center of history for the Jewish people. This is where the most holy place, you know, is set for the Jewish people, mm -hmm. okay? Um, it's it, it, the, the history that was there, you know, it's part of our culture. It is part of our identity. And more so, you just how, how do you have sovereignty in Jerusalem without sovereignty over what makes Jerusalem? I guess abs you could say. absolutely. And and for me, this place is a piece of my history, of my culture, of my identity. And I believe that the more Arab leaders come and see what Palestinians are doing there, how they are uh, uh, desecrating uh, uh, this holy site the more they, they'll be willing to come and understand not only if Jews hold it and have it open freely for all the religions, for Muslims, for Christians, for Jews, only then this place will be really holy and uphold as it should. This is the problem, is that none of the parties actually represent the majority of the country. But I, I assume that most people in the country are middle grounded. They are spiritual but not necessarily ultra orthodox they are they do want sovereignty but they, they also not, want peace they're you know? not I mean, like extreme it's, right and like the majority of israelis are not extreme they're moving more to the right but they're not but not in terms of extremism in terms of safety in terms of security maybe i think that the people of israel after three years of political craziness mm -hmm. living in complete political propaganda Think about it. Elections, oh, after years. elections, yeah, I mean, after elections. Yeah. This is slogans, propaganda, hatred, division. Do you ever get tired Day of it? After, of course. I think the, the Israeli public is tired of it as well.